Hello, mm, I'm so happy and so, 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 so excited to present this short video to your hearing. So this is Mrs. Ifoma Wokoye, Ifi African Fashion. Ifi African Fashion is a fashion designer. I design African clothing. I design for men. I design for the ladies. I design for kids, both men and women. And we even design igele. I don't know if you if you watched some of my videos, there was a video where I was showing how to tie igele. So you know, most women, African women. So when they come out with their African design clothing, they like to go up with the igele. Yes, so we also do igele as well. We sell them, we sell materials, and we sell that of the igele as well, and other kinds of fashion materials. Yes, so please, if you are watching us for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. Yes, and if you find our video so interesting, give us a thumbs up. Yay! I'm so so excited to meet you all today. Hello, everyone, once again. Yes, so we want to do a very quick video on how to design a we call it a basket, some call it a kissing pin press skirt. Yes, but it's known as a boss piece skirt. So it's going to be a long skirt designed with African clothing. You can use other material to design it as well. But today we are going to design it with African clothing. Yes, please like and share our video in Facebook, in Instagram, in Twitter. Subscribe, thumbs up and follow us on our pages. Thank you and stay blessed so now i want to do this video so these are the things we need for this teaching for today so these are the material we're working on this beautiful material mm, so so beautiful yes so this is a three meter three three years yes this is three years of african material yeah this is the lining the lining is one and a half then this is the violin, the sticky one that we we'll use for the band. The that we we'll put on the band. We we'll have the zip. We we'll put a zip on the skirt, and this is the thread to sew the skirt. This is our cutting scissors, and this is our sewing scissors. And this one is very important. This is our measuring tape. Without this tape, these things are not going to be possible because every individual has different measurements. So how do we know the particular measurement that fits on a particular dress? It's through the measurement tape. So this is our measurement tape is very important. So now I want to start this quick cutting process so, yeah. so this is the material whenever you are cutting always cut with the back of the material not the front it's very very important cut to the back not the front so this is three years so what we do we fold it into two so firstly we want to get the length of the skirt we want to get the length of the skirt Remember, it's a boss pleat skirt. Yes, so I call it kissing pleat skirt. It's not going to be a short one. It's going to be a long boss pleat skirt. It's very quick and easy. You can even do it at your own comfort zone. It's very, very simple. Yes. So now I have folded my material into two. So I folded it into two. You can see. So now we want to get the length of the skirt. Remember, I said the tape. We use it taking the actual measurement. Yes, of what we are doing. So now we want to do the measurement of the skirt. So we place it our tape from the top to the bottom. So when you look at this material, you can see it doesn't have any standing, any image that has to be shown standing or sitting or whatever. So you can use any side for the top and any side for the bottom. So that depends on the kind of material you want to use. So the length of the skirt is 43. So 43 including the waistband. Yeah, so what we need to do, we can make it exactly 43. We add extra one inches for the seam allowance. So tick 44. This skirt does not require much. It's a very simple skirt. Very, very simple. So we don't need to measure the heel, we don't need to measure the waist, we'll do the measurement of the waist when we are fixing the bust plate before we fix the, the waistband. So all we just need to do is to cut out the length of the skirt. So we are cutting the length of the skirt. I've measured the length of the skirt, so I'll cut it out. I reserve some few fabric that I will use for the 
for the band, for the waistband. So that's the length, so I just have to cut. So I tick through where the length will stop, so I have to cut it out. Okay, now we have cut the, the one for the bust plate, the main body of the skirt. So I'll put it aside and we'll go and do the sewing and stitch it. I don't want to stitch it, I will stitch it before I iron the bust plate on it. So now I want to cut the waistband, it's going to have a waistband. So we'll take the waistband, it's not going to be a very, it's not going to be a broad one. So our waistband will be two inches wide. So add seam allowance. So instead of making it four, we are making it five. So I split, I did it for divide it into two, so it's two and a half. So when you open it up, it's five in total. It's not gonna be a full lining. Yes, it's not gonna be a full lining. So we fold it into two, letting the English mask to face against itself. So if the length is 43, so our lining will be below that. So I'm making the length of our lining 35. So it will not be so long when we cut. So that is the lining. Yes. Now I want to put a violin on the waistband. Remember I said our waistband will be two and a half inch. I'm so used to this me measurement tape that I don't even measure. I just cut and it gives me actually what I wanted. So I wanted to put the scissors and it was right here. I took it. So the next, it's going to be two and a half. Yeah. And now we have cut out our violin. We want to stick it with the iron. Yeah, so we're using our iron. So this is how we're doing it. We stick it with the iron and the fabric. And to make the sewing of our band so easy. Yeah. So some people choose to put it first before the iron, whichever one it does. At the end of the day, we're gonna have the same result. Yes. So what is nice and the iron it nicely. Yeah. Okay, you can see we are done with our ironing. Yes, this is the band, the one for the band. This is the lining, and this is the body of the skirt itself. So now we are going to this is the as well. So we are going to the machine now to put it together and see what our bobs. Our so now we are in the second phase of our boss split skirt, popularly known as a kissing clean skirt. So please, if you are watching us for the first time, subscribe and give us a thumbs up as well. Share our videos as well in Facebook, Instagram, and in Twitter. Thank you. So now I want to put the the skirt. This is the body of the skirt. This is the lining. Just want to put them aside have our machine threaded already so we just want to stitch so first of all before we start our teaching we want to know where the center is this is just a plain fabric so is going to have a pocket on the side so i want to split it into two so it will have the front and the back so that's what i'm doing i'm cutting it into two parts so separating the front and the back then it will not end there so i will fold it again to get the center of the front and the center of the back yes it's kind of an omission 
customer says you want a pocket, so put a pocket, we need to split it, and that we have done already. I've split it into two. So this is the center. So the zip will be right at the center. So on this part, we just cut off like a measure of like one inch. So give it that kind of a, a like a line shape. So this is the side, this is where the pocket will be. So now this is the front. We we'll notch it already. It's notched already. So we're separating the front of the back. So in the same back, because we we'll have the zip now at the back, so we still have to split this back into two so that we can have our zip at the center of it. This is our back. So what do we do? So join the allowance of the zip at the back. So it's one and a half inch allowance. So one and a half inch, please. So remember, we're gonna have zip starting from the top. So it's not gonna. We're not gonna put like a permanent stitch. I'm not gonna do a revised stitch there. But I will do the revise where I want my zip to stop. So I finish my zip will stop at seven and a half. So this is the way I will put a left stitch. So here I'm still gonna take it out. So it's more like a, a light, more like a gather stitch. So when I get to this point, I'll put it on a normal lock stitch. So when you're doing this kind of shape, you don't you don't you don't keep the same measurement from uh, top to bottom. So from bottom is that from up is one and a half. So when you're going there, you're bringing your you're, you're reducing the measurement of the allowance. So if you can watch now, it's reducing from one and a half to one inch. So before I get to the bottom, it will eventually be half inch. I started with one and a half, I ended up with like something two quarter. So it's gonna give us that kind of a line shape on top. So that is the back. So now I wanna put our bust loop. So this is the center of the back. So we fold. Depend on how big. It's not a fixed, so it depends on how big your fabric is. So will determine how I want the bust split to be straight at front, three in the back. So now I pushed in. You see it? So I want it to face this way. So from four inch, I push it in. So it's three inch. You can see the deeper is three, and it stop right at the the point where the zip start from. So from here to the five. So I want to hold that three inch with the machine to stitch it with the machine with our sewing machine. the first one so now the gap in between the boss plate is five inch I take five inch so from that our tick we push it in now we have done with the our piece our boss plate so in between the spaces is four inch so I just put a, a pin so to know the actual length it is. So this is the center. So from the center, center folding it in. So the allowance of folding it in is one and one and a half inch, one and a half on each side. 
so it can be two inch it can be three depending on how big the fabric is so but the fabric measurement of this fabric is not so big considering the waist of the of the skirt so the waist is 36 so we really need to make sure the waist is smaller than so that we have allowance of sewing and also we left with the normal stitching so in total the waist here is 20 so but we need 18 so the other extra one one we we'll go for this um, seam allowance yeah, so now i want to stitch on top must make sure your pleats that's why they call it boss pleat or kissing pleat is facing each other each other must face each other So it's going to be three at the front and three at the back. So I'm stitching the front. So only when I stitch, I take off the two. So you see, I make sure the foot is touching each other. So we're done with the front. Now this is the lining. So the lining will, will be inside the, the main, uh, what do you call it? It is this, the main skirt, the body of the skirt. So remember we're going to have a zip. So on it, so we'll take out the measurement of the zip. Remember, I did on the material seven and a half. So we'll stick on that seven and a half. So we'll do the same thing on the lining and put a lock stitch there so that it will not easily go up. You see, we we'll sew it right and hand. Yes. So now the way we we'll put the lining, so we we'll now open up it and fold it on the side. So we are not connecting the lining to the cloth itself. It's gonna be separate, separated. The lining will be separate from the from the body skirt itself. Is that for our lining? So you see our skirts. So the next thing is to stitch the side. But before I stitch the side, I want to iron this boss split. Yeah, so that we can see the clear beauty of the boss split. So once we finish ironing it, we fold it and stitch the side. So now we are going to the table to do the ironing. Thank you. So you see, we we'll finished joining it. So now we want to start putting our. We want to start ironing our boss split. So, so you iron it from top to bottom nicely. So we are done with the ironing. We want to quickly do the setting of the for boss split skirt. Boss split skirt. So we can also call it a, a kissing pleat. So I'm done with the ironing of this boss split. So now I want to do the setting. So we take we we'll place our tape from the center of the skirt. Then we we'll check the fore and the circumference of the waist, which is 36. Take. Then place it again from the other end. So it's not more like a straight, it's more like we are saying like an A line shape. It is a boss bit. So it don't go like a straight kind of skirt. Yes, so, 
so we'll sew through we'll do our shaping right to the end right from this side to the end as well we have we are done with the ironing so this is our waistband you see we've already put a violin stick our violin on it for the waistband so after shaping it we'll use the waistband for the waist this is the lining we're putting it inside and we decide to put a net to make it a bit puffy yes so it's our net our lining our waistband so we we'll go straight to the machine to put our skirts together so please if you're watching us for the first time please subscribe to our channel don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our video please like and share it in facebook instagram and in twitter subscribe to our channel please and leave a comment at the bottom of it because each of the video we make will give a detailed description of those videos in our website please check out our website in www.ifisafricanfashion.com stay tuned Okay, now we want to do the shaping of our we want to do the shaping of our skirt yes we start with a lock stitch we stitch it from here down and we stitch the other side as well but i will start putting our lining our net and our waistband yes so the zip will be the last thing we're going to fix on it so now we want to start with the stitching with a lock stitch the lock stitch that is a permanent stitch So on the side of the skirt there will be a pocket so i just want to start the pocket from three so from ticking three we take our six and a half that's the tip of the pocket so put a lock stitch here a lock stitch here and we'll take it right down so that that stitch will be for the pocket so it's really good nice video so we take up that part later pocket so this is the pocket we want to put the pocket on the side the length is 12 and the width is 7 so the length is yes so it's like 13 but the same allowance after everything is going to be 12 then the width is is by seven and a half but after the joining it will be seven and six and a half so that place i put my lock stitches i want to open it up So you can see the, the lock stitch I put here. So the losing will not exceed there. So this is the space for the pocket. So I'll pick up one of the, the cut pockets that I'm gonna use put on the side. So to pull it a bit up, it will be like half inch longer than the normal length where you start stitching from. So you put it in. So you can I can feel the lock stitch stitch there. So I can feel it, so I'll put my machine right on top of it. Yes, because if it's too, if it's not, if it didn't sit there, it, that means it will have a hole in between. So you must make sure you're stitching on that same line. Yes. So uh, that will make your uh, pocket properly closed and safe and comfortable. So you stop it on the other line that you stopped. And remember, I did the width for the pocket in the main outfit. Six and a half. So now I want to top a stitch after joining it. So this will keep it from angry not to come out. Because it's not that I'm using the lining to put the pocket. Even if you put the material as well, it's not very important for you to top stitch. So once you iron it after top stitching, it will relax nicely. You can also sew it without top stitching, but I like to put a top stitch there. Yes, it's very safe, safe and 
tight and comf comfortable, it doesn't come out. The material will not be the lining is the pocket material will not be sticking out. So you can see from this side, I can see the seam. I still put my middle right on top. You see, see where I stop from. So I put my machine needle, sewing needle right there. Yes, I make sure it's equal on this side. Then I still put a lock stitch, a nice lock stitch there. Stop on the same lock stitch. So now I want to close the side of the pocket. I want to put a lock stitch on the other side as well. Push it on the other side. I have put a lock stitch, so now I want to close my pocket. So I've closed my, my pocket, so I will now put an overlock in there, nicely. You can see the pocket, even with that ironing, it's already sitting nicely and closed. You just put your hand to find your pocket. Yes, you can see the pocket? This is how it eventually looks. I've not ironed it, but you can, it's already giving that space. You can put your hand there. Yes, so that is that for the pocket. We do the same. So this is the net. We want to put this net. I know I said it when I was setting it that this net will make it look a bit puffy. So I'm stitching the net now. We'll put it in between the cloth and the lining. Yeah. So from the outside, the cloth is there. In between, this is the net. Then on the outside, which is the inside part, will be the lining. So we'll see that when we are stitching the skirt together. So the part, I'm just reserving the allowance of the zip. We can stitch it right from the end. The zip starts at 7, so I took up that 7. And I'll start my stitching after the seven. We're we'll finished joining the net. We want to fix the net on the yes. We want to fix it on the on the cloth itself. So this is the cloth. This is where the zip is gonna start from. So I give an uh, one inch space. I don't want to put it very close to the edge of the zip allowance. So I give an one inch gap. Then now I'll start pleating my put it pleat. I'm just pleating directly. I don't want to do it before I just split. So this split is going to help the skirt to look a bit puffy. It's not going to look that flat, but to make it look a bit puffy. So that's what it will do to the skirt itself. So we just place it on it and gradually we'll be pulling it closer, closer to, the, to itself. There is a net, so it's more like you're making a gather on it, but directly to the cloth without gather stitch with a normal lock stitch. So this is what we're gonna do till we get to the other side of this skirt. So we are done putting the net. Yes, you see, this is the way it start. I started from here and I end it here. Yes. So now I want to pull the line in. So the same way I stitched the, the net, the same way I'm going to do to the lining. So you now you see that the net is in between the, the fabric itself, the, the net and the lining. So this lining will sit on the skin of the person, you will not feel the, the you know that the net is not a, like, it's not relaxing on the body. So but the skin, the lining will sit on the skin, while the material and in between will have the net. Yes, so the net is just to give it a bit of volume. 
and why the lining is to cover it up and to give it a nice comfort on your body. So we are still leaving the same one inch space, then we we'll start putting our pleats, start pleating our lining as well. So we'll start it from the beginning and sew it right around and stop it on the other end. Yeah, so we are done putting the lining. Yeah, I started it from here and I ended it here. So the next thing to do is to fix our waistband. There are different ways of fixing a waistband, but I want to use this method. So I'll fix it from here. The, the zip we start straight from the band i'm not gonna put like a button on the waistband so it's gonna be a zip that is connected straight from the waistband so that's why i want to put it the band we start straight from the allowance of the zip so i'll put it from here this is the allowance i'll put it from that edge and i'll sew it straight So I'm done fixing it, you can see the stitch. So now I want to fold it to, uh, to, co and to fold it into two to cover this. All this hem is going to be inside. All this seam allowance is going to be inside. So I'm going to use the, the extra on the waistband to cover it up. So you see my waist, my violin ended here. You see, you see the seam. So I'm going to push it and cover it all. Yes, to help you make it to have a nice finishing at the back as well so you fold it a bit then you must make sure that it's slightly longer you can see it now so i folded it i folded it in here so you can see the space it's less than half inch yes it was more than two quarter so i folded it i turned it around so when you look from the front you will see where the band end and where the allowance you can see the difference you see this one is here and that one is here so i will start stitching in between the line i will stitch on top of the band i'm gonna stitch underneath here to hold this one together and to have a nice band fit so i want to start stitching now so when you're stitching you must make sure you're pulling the, the seam allowance that you use to connect all the lining, the fabric together, you must push it inside. Yes, and keep your the fabric must be longer than that of the, the waistband. So once you're stitching, you can see you stitch properly at the back. And you can see let me move a bit forward so that you can see what I'm talking about. So once you're sewing, you are very conscious of the back. The essence of doing this is to make sure you have a nice finishing at the end. Yes, I can see. I can feel it now where the, the back one end and I'm saying in between the line of the band. So I'm sewing in between the line. If you look now, you can't even see the stitch outside. So when you look at the back, so you can see I'm stitching on the extra on the back. So I'm going to create the same process from the starting point to the ending point of the this band. So I'm done with the fixing of the waistband. Yes, so you can see the back. Yes, and this is the front. Yes, so you're done with it. So it's having a nice ending. Yes, from the front and the back. Yeah, so now we're gonna turn it around and fix our waist, our zip. Yes, we put our zip on the skirt, and the next thing is to fold the bottom. Place where the zip was empty from. I think it was like seven inch or sort of. Yeah. So 
then I want to restore the place again to keep it very firm. Okay, now I want to put the zip. So the way I want to put the zip, just watch. Excuse me, I'll open it up. So I don't want to keep it straight. Yes, I want it to go like check now. This is a straight line. But I want to take it to be a bit in from the straight line, mostly at the edges. Yes, yeah, so this will enable it to sit. So this is the straight line that's supposed to start here, and I'm gonna start it from here. So this will enable it to put the upper part of our waist is smaller than the lower part. So this will enable it to hold perfectly on the waist. Yes. So you should go in from here. So it's going like it's coming in like more like a V kind of not a straight. Yes, more like a V. And put it in. The same process right to the bottom. I'm done with the fixing of the zip. You can see how it actually looks. So, when you show from the inside, on this side, I saw it on the other side. So, this is the outcome of our zip. So, you can open it. All your free access is now. Yeah, the teeth of the zip is showing, and the band is there. So, it's like, so you see. This part will now be wider because I shifted it, the fixing to half inch. So this side is smaller, and this side is now. So this is why it will hold nicely on the waist. So this is actually our zip look like. So from this zip now, we have done that. So we wanted it to stay, we just stitch it a bit. The other one's not to come out. chooses to cut off the allowance but I always work with allowance you know this is African fashion so it's nice when you have a lot of space inside so when the person pick up weights you have something to work with oh, so it's very very fine so it stays like that so the next thing now is just to hang the bottles just fold it a bit it right around I'll just sew it right around until I get to this point then I'll do the same thing to the lining yes our skirt is good to go Ooh, nice so we'll finish running sewing the stitching the the fabric the African fabric of our boss split skirt so we have run it around and I turn the bottom so now I want to do the same thing to the lining Yes, we want to do the same thing to the lining. Hold it nicely. So this will enable you to have a nice finishing on the bottom. See, our sketch is absolutely ready. So I just want to do the ironing quickly to make sure our boss plate is in, in place. Yes, you can see it's nicely ironed. So this is the back. This is the back. So beautiful. Ooh, I can't wait to fit it on to see actually all this effort. How does it eventually look? Yes. So it's a skirt, so you can just use like a simple black top to put it on. Yes, so this is our bust skirt, nicely ironed. So, so beautiful. So, this is actually how it looks. This is the front, and this actually is the back. This is absolutely beautiful. So we want to fit it on so that we know and see the beauty of our boss split skirts.
So this is the inside. Subscribe and like our page if you absolutely feel delighted and amazed in this great video. Please give us a thumbs up. Put a comment on our comment section. What do you feel? What part do we need to improve? What do you actually like on it? For the details of whatever we are, this video we are doing is being described on our website in Ifis African Fashion. www.ifisafricanfashion.com. Yes, please like and subscribe. If you are joining us for the first time, share our video in Facebook, Instagram, and in Twitter. Thank you. You can see the skirt. I'm fitting it on, although I'm fitting it on top of my dress, but that's fine. I just wanted to see how the skirt actually looks. So, so beautiful. You can see. There's a pocket on the side. You see, this is our pocket. You can put anything inside, it's perfectly comfortable. You see? Yes, this is how our boss beef get looks like. So beautiful. So we have done it. It's so amazing. Please, we want you, if you love our video, if you are excited with what we are doing, we want you to like our page. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Put your comment. How excited or how impressed you are with our video. Like and share our page, our video in Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Subscribe if you are joining us for the first time. Thank you and stay tuned. Bye.